What's up everybody and welcome to another In Her Beast World toy unboxing. And today we're gonna be unboxing some cool toys that I got at the Nintendo World store. And these are the Hot Wheels Mario toys. And I'm not sure if they're called Mario toys. Oh no, they're for the 30th anniversary. So they're, they are Mario toys, but they were mostly for the 30th anniversary. As you can see from the little logo up here, they're 30th anniversary Mario. <laughs> if that makes any sense. So I put it in chronological order from what I think it was the first game to the other game. But I'm pretty sure that Dr. Mario was somewhere in between two and three, or it might've been in between these two right here, the Mario game and the Mario 2 game. This one shouldn't even be here. That wasn't even a Mario game. <laughs> so we're gonna start off with the Mario Brothers game. So let's go ahead and look at the packaging itself. And it looks super awesome. That was the first game on the Nintendo cartridge. There goes the little logo for the Mario 30th anniversary. And here's the ones that you can collect in this series. And I have all of them. <laughs> and again, there goes a Hot Wheels logo, because these are Hot Wheels. And they feel pretty heavy. They're, they might be die cast, I'm not sure. So let's go ahead and take it out and look at it more up close. I'm not gonna collect more cars. These are the only cars I wanna collect. And they look super awesome. Wow, this thing is heavy. It's definitely die cast for sure. And they look super awesome. I'm not sure what kind of vehicle this is. I just like the pictures on the little car. There goes a the little star man. And there goes Super Mario World. And the wheels, they work perfectly. And again, it's a die cast vehicle for sure. Because it's really hard. There's no glass on this part. But there is glass on the front. Which might not even be glass. It might just be like a piece of plastic or something. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put that right here. Or let's put it facing that way. And let's go ahead and look at the next one. The next one's gonna be the Super Mario Brothers 2 one, and it looks super awesome. And again, this really wasn't a Mario game, but they made it part two in America. In Japan, the Lost Levels was the actual part two of the Super Mario Brothers. I don't know why they decided. I guess they thought that Americans weren't very good at video games, <laughs> at least difficult video games. There goes the back again, and let's go ahead and take it out. And this vehicle feels heavy as well. There might be another die-cast vehicle. Oy, come on, come out, come out. All right, there we go. And yes, let's go ahead and focus it. And it looks super awesome. Super Mario Brothers 2 right on it. Super heavy. And again, I don't know what kind of vehicle this is. There's, there's no doors on this thing. <laughs> Look at it. It's like right here, it's just like, that's why I said, I don't know what kind of vehicle this is. Well, it's like something that I guess is just like designed to look wacky. And it sure does. And look at the back right there. Uh, looks awesome. And the wheels are pretty big in the back. They're like fat wheels and the fronts are small. And there goes the Super Mario Brothers 2 logo from the second game. And the paint on the top is actually pretty glossy. Not glossy, but sparkly, I meant. Let's see if we could actually see it. See? Oh, that looks so awesome. It looks better up close. <laughs> we'll probably just leave it like that when we start looking at the cars. Look at it super up close because it looks awesome. All right, let's go to the next vehicle. Let's put this one back over here and zoom out a little bit. There we go. And now we're going to look at Super Mario Brothers 3. There you go. And I always loved the art to this one. I always, as a kid, I always loved drawing this part right here, like the nose and just the whole body. Because it's, it's, how do you call it? Uh, foreshortening. <laughs> I actually know that word. Foreshortening, where he's like closer up here and then farther away, the body's smaller. And I, that's how I learned a lot of my art from like drawing from other things like this. And the car and the back again. So let's go ahead and take it out because I want to see what this one looks like. I love Super Mario Brothers 3. Tell me what you guys, which Mario game you like the most. A lot of people like Super Mario World, a lot of people like Super Mario Brothers 3, a lot of people like N64 Super Mario. I like Super Mario Brothers 3. All right, and this one looks like a little bus. <laughs> looks really awesome. And there goes a little engine up here. Let's go ahead and look at it up close like I said I was gonna do before. Uh, there we go. It looks super awesome. I love Super Mario Brothers 3. <laughs> look, but these look like the things from Super Mario World though. These right here. I'm not sure, maybe they were in part three, I'm not sure. All right, uh, look, Raccoon Mario, he looks super awesome. This bus actually looks like it has like cat ears, <laughs> like Totoro. Uh, oh, look at the back. It says Super Mario Brothers 3 on the license plate, which looks pretty awesome. Wow. Oh, look at the top. The top has something on it. That looks cool, Goombas with wings. Oh yeah, I forgot, and they also released those little ones. They pooped them out. <laughs> looks super awesome. There goes the bottom. The wheels work pretty good. And this one looks awesome. So far, this is the best one. The one that I like the best so far. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put that right there. 
Let's go ahead and zoom it out again and focus. Focus. There we go. Now we're going to look at Dr. Mario. And like I said, I don't know where Dr. Mario landed on the Nintendo games, like I said before. But we're just going to look at it anyways. And the back again. And let's go ahead and take it out. Yeah. Throw that over there. Take out this little part. Oh, this might end up being one of my best ones because it looks really awesome. Let's go ahead and up close it and focus. There we go. This one looks cool because of this top part right here. <laughs> looks like the engine is the entire back part, which is pretty awesome. I actually like the art on this right here. It looks really cool, like really glossy, really shiny. Dr. Mario, and this part is like a clear plastic. You can see the engine on the back. And there goes the enemies right there. They were like these little, I guess, bacteria things. I think so. <laughs> they look really awesome. There goes the bottom, it's really shiny. And it says Hot Wheels right there. Really cool. What does, it, what, does that say 2002? No, that, that can't be right. It does. 2002 Mattel. Maybe it's just the bottom part that's like from that year, but I'm not sure. Uh, let's see the back and nothing on the back except for it says like something 2015. Okay, so it does the sticker 2015. Everything else is probably just die cast from that year. But like I said, I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and put this one back here. All right, Mario Kart. Mario. Oh, no. <laughs> Stay over there. All right. Mario Kart, I love Mario Kart. One of my favorite games, especially on the Wii U. One of my best games, especially on the 3DS. The 3DS one is pretty cool. It was just missing a lot of things. And this one I've never played really, the Super Nintendo one. And yeah, all right, there goes back and let's go ahead and take this one out. This one's one of the smallest ones actually, compared to all the other ones that I just showed. So let's see what this one looks like. And this one actually looks pretty cool, except for like, the color, the color disturbs me. It's like a tan, weird tan, like a honey. It just looks weird. I like the wheels though. The wheels look awesome. Look, see, I like that red outline on it. It looks really cool. The bottom is silver again. And let's see the back. Oh, cool, the, the block with the question mark. And is that the same picture from this side? Yeah, same picture. Oh, that's kind of whack. <laughs> yeah, it's just like the same picture on both sides. They should have put something different. Oh, well, well, there goes that car. So far, I think this is probably the most disappointing car from the whole thing. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and look at the last one. And the last one's gonna be the Super Mario World one. And I love Super Mario World. That's like my se second favorite game. I love this one. And the car feels pretty heavy. So let's go ahead and take this thing out because we already know what the back of it looks like. Ah, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, this one's definitely the heaviest one. It might be the biggest one as well. All right, cool. This one's like one of those hippie vans. <laughs> the ones that, I forgot what they're called. Uh, the VWs, I guess, Volkswagens. Yeah, that's what it looks like, see? Oh, it is a Volkswagen, look at that. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, they should have put a picture on the top. That would have been awesome. But there you go, Super Mario World. There goes Yoshi and Super Mario. And that's probably my favorite power, his little cape. Where you go, do it, do it. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I love the wheels. They look pretty awesome. Oh, they even, wow. For some reason, I like these wheels. <laughs> they, they glide really good. All right, let's see the back. In the back is nothing. It just shows the year again. Oh, okay. There's a different picture on this one, which is awesome. But his mouth looks weird. I'm not sure why. It might be because they put like a, this is where the door is, the door handle. So it makes the the mouth look contorted in a way, but it's okay, I guess. But yeah, this one's pretty awesome. I like VWs and yeah, there you go, hippie car. <laughs> so there you go, guys, the awesome collection from Hot Wheels, the Super Mario Brothers 30th anniversary collection. And I gotta say, I really like these toys. The only one I was really disappointed with was this car right here. It looks really funny, the, the colors. And then after that, they added the same stickers on both sides. They're not really stickers, actually. What they are is they're just embroidered in there really good. I guess like a paint job or something like that. But the ones that I liked the best was definitely this one, the Dr. Mario one, which is unexpected. <laughs> I like the top of it. It looks really awesome. And I love the color purple. And I love part two as well. Part two looks really awesome. It's very different. I really thought that this door thing was funny, but after looking at it for a while, I love that, like, the candy apple color. It's really sparkly and it looks really awesome. So yeah, guys, tell me or let me know if you guys actually collected these toys and let me know if you guys like them. So yeah, guys, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, feel free to do so. And as always, guys, thanks for your support and I'll see you guys later.